This is in for Live TV headline news, December 17th. I'm Margot Dudkevich. In the deadliest traffic accident in the nation's history, 25 Russian tour operators were killed and scores seriously hurt when their tour bus plunged into a ravine near Elat on Tuesday afternoon. President Shimon Peres spoke Tuesday evening with Russian President Dmitry Medvedev, sent the country's deepest condolences, and said that while the accident was caused by the mistake of one person, the pain is felt by all of Israel. Transport Minister Shaul Mufaz, who visited the scene of the accident, said the crash had been caused by the driver arguing with another bus driver about who would go through a checkpoint first, which led to attempts to pass each other. After questioning the 39-year-old bus driver, it came apparent that he'd had 22 previous traffic offences. Meanwhile, two planes carrying medical personnel and relatives of the 25 Russian tourists killed in the crash are due to arrive in Israel on Wednesday morning and assist in identifying their loved ones. Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni promised Valentina Matvienko, the governor of St. Petersburg, where most of the casualties are from, that Israel would provide all assistance necessary. Russia is considering buying an unspecified number of remotely piloted reconnaissance aircraft from Israel. The head of the Russian military said Tuesday, in what may be an attempt by the Kremlin to strengthen its intelligence gathering capacity after the August war with Georgia. The negotiations are taking place against a backdrop of strong Israeli objections to a possible sale by Moscow of anti-aircraft systems to Iran. Almost two-thirds of the Israeli population opposed withdrawing from the West Bank in exchange for a peace plan that would grant Israel full recognition from the Arab world, a move that enjoys support in the Palestinian sector. The survey was conducted jointly by the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and the Palestinian Center for Policy and Survey Research in Ramallah. An Argentinian court ordered to seize the property belonging to a former Iranian diplomat who he sought on charges related to the 1994 bombing of a Jewish community center which killed 85 people and wounded more than 200. Argentina has formally accused Iran of masterminding the attack and seeks the arrest of high-ranking Iranian government officials. The UN Security Council approved a resolution Tuesday stressing that the Israeli-Palestinian peace process initiated by the United States last year is irreversible and urging intensified efforts to achieve peace throughout the Middle East. The vote was 14-0 with Libya abstaining. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.